Hello, everybody. Welcome back to episode two of this competitive building series that I guess I have started here. Uh, this is actually going to be recorded about 30 minutes before episode one releases, so I haven't seen any of your feedback or any of the comments that have come off that video suggesting what we should do next, but hopefully there are going to be some replies on that and we will be able to start that for episode three and hopefully so on after. Uh, this time we're going to just do it again. So let's hope we do not get number 960. 65, which is, I believe, what we did yeah, yesterday for Varum. I say yesterday. I don't know if this is going to come out the day after yesterday's episode or if we're just going to do like a Monday through Friday, excluding the weekend kind of thing. But let's go ahead, jump right on into it. Let's go to the random number generator and generate a number. We get 627. So let's go to Google. Let us put in right here. Pokemon number. I've already forgotten the number. ADHD, everybody. Uh, 627. So 627. That Pokemon is is Rufflet. Uh, funny enough, we're going to get another Pokemon that is also uses uh, Overcode here. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Uh, Rufflet last I knew was also LC, so Rufflet. Oh, NFE. I don't know what that here is. NFE is not fully evolved, so it's not... <laughs> so it's not LC. It's actually a little bit higher. Uh, species Clause, is there anything here saying level-wise? It says right here, Players may not terrestrialize, so we're not going to worry about terrestrialization, although I'm still going to include it in this build, uh, simply just because if you decide not to use them in NFE and you decide to use them in higher tiers, like OU or something as like a surprise pick or something, you still have that option. Uh, other than that, I don't see anything crazy. Uh, no double team or minimize. I don't use those. No Oko moves. That's also something I don't prefer to use. So we're good. We're can do whatever level we want. So let's go ahead, look at Rufflet here, who is a normal flying type. I do see Sheer Force, that is also good. I also see Hustle and Keen Eye. He doesn't get Overcoat, but his uh, evolution man, or no, this this is Braviary. I'm thinking of Mandibuzz. So this is actually Braviary's pre-evolution. So Hustle's pretty good, bonus attack and accuracy. Sheer Force, on the other hand, I'm also a big fan of. Ooh, man, this. This has got a lot going for it here. So we can leave it at level 100. We won't do anything crazy there. Um, first thing I do want to see, do we get the shiny variant? We do. Okay. Shiny, top tier, always. Uh, I don't know what Terra type we're going to use yet. And I don't know what moves. So do we have any build set order for him as of yet? Okay. So Rufflet, the builds we do see, Choice Band, Choice Scarf, Bulk Up. Those are fairly standard when you see a Pokemon with such high attack. Um, it looks like all of them use Hustle and Choice Band. So, you know, here's your options if you want to use Choice Band, Choice Scarf, or Eviolite. You can go super bulky with Aerial Ace uh, for Stab, Agility just to be faster, Roost to be able to heal yourself up and bulk up to be able to stall Pokemon out. Uh, your other options here, Choice Scarf, just outspeed everything with uh, Facade so you don't have to worry about being burnt or anything. Jolly to also outspeed and or Adamant if you want to do some more damage. Close Combat because it's just some nice coverage against Rock types. Uh, again, you also have Aerial Ace and Brave Bird. This is just going to be, do you need a big move or do you just want to be able to hit and not worry about anything else? Uh, choice Band more damage same kind of thing as choice scarf you just are banking more on doing more damage than you're actually being faster let's instead take a look at an option for using the sheer force uh since everybody else wants to run hustle let's take a look at a sheer force build possibly so sheer force is going to give you 1.3 times power so 30 percent more power uh, but you do not get your secondary effect, so like burning a Pokemon does not happen. Instead, you just get more damage. So like Heat Wave, for instance, is a 10% chance to burn. That would not be the 10% chance to burn. Instead, that would do 95, which if I just pull up a calculator here and we do 95 uh, plus 30% because I don't know how to do other math. All right, there we go. So now I finally got my calculator to work. So instead of a being, instead of Heat Wave being a base 95% uh, attack move, it's going to be a 123.5 uh, base power attack instead for instance for using sheer force um so they also get rock slides so that's a whole nother thing so let's take a look at moves that have an option but won't so first thing i'm thinking i'm looking at body slam i'm looking at a attack that attack is significantly higher so let's definitely go straight into attack um i don't know if we're gonna run jolly or adamant uh as of yet but let's take a look at the moves we got here so body slam is stab that's 85, 85 plus 30 percent, which is plus 30 uh, percent, 110.5 base damage instead. So that's definitely an option. Uh, Shadow Claw, I think serves pretty much no use here. U-turn is also always good 
it's just a great move zen headbutt for our ability to fight fighting types but we already have flying so it's not a big deal i'm seeing a lot of these special moves as well and that's really interesting to me so i'm starting to see why rufflet is being used for that bulk upset in particular he doesn't have a whole ton of moves that sheer force can actually act on uh however he does have a lot of good special moves with hurricane he's got you know hurricane he's got air slash and funny enough these moves might do just enough more damage man that is actually funny let me do some calcs here and come back to this because this is really funny if this works out how i'm thinking it does okay so the damage calcs actually aren't as bad as i was thinking originally uh so hustle is definitely going to be better because it's based on your physical attacks and that's 1.5 sheer force is a little bit less but it allows you to use a little bit more special moves but the damage difference isn't like significant so let's go with pure shock value and oh wow that's actually funny that your base special attacks almost as high as your regular physical that is really funny and really sad all at the same time so let's go with modest nature we'll go special attack hp speed to help you out speed whenever you read meet you meet a mirror match of this we will take choice specs to add even more damage because why not and let's see what we got here so let's start with our stab moves that we would need um do we get any stab normal I mean, Swift, that's a move. Um, no, I don't think so. So we lose out on Stab Normal, which isn't horrible. I mean, it's, there's a couple resistances to it, but that's fine. Um, Air Slash, Hurricane, what else? Air Cutter, Air Cutter we're not using. That, that's a horrible move. And no, we're not doing this to be legitimately, this is going to be new meta. No, this is just pure shock value. Everything is physical and hustle let's try a sheer force special build just because it's funny uh because otherwise sheer force has no use uh, especially with physical just because you do not have many moves that have secondary uh, effects to them so we'll go with special just just so we can get a use out of the sheer force ability so let's go with hurricane for sure air slash is just better if you don't want to be stuck into hurricane unless maybe that doesn't matter here that is an option uh u-turn just because it allows you to get out with specs if you're going to be using this pokemon you probably shouldn't be using u-turn anyways but you know why not so we'll run hurricane we'll think about u-turn we might change out a u-turn here in a little bit um let's go <laughs> you know heat wave why not it's a funny move it's there it gets boosted why not oh man what else do we use here i'm thinking we actually possibly drop choice specs and we take a life orb here instead and we go with roost uh roost will allow you to live hurricane heat wave i mean if we can drop roost for something we can possibly go for like a scarf which i'm not against using a scarf how about we use terra blast we'll go to uh choice scarf <laughs> and we'll actually leave it as terra normal for that bonus terra blast that we get out of it uh and since we are running scarf what's the difference here between scarf or between modest and timid so 190 157 172 173 your base attack is still higher would it be so bad to run hybrid huh you know that's actually hybrid builds are a thing so body slam is base 85 we can drop heat wave and take something like cc to be able to handle rock types uh hurricane u-turn drop that take fizz still allows us to use that the only difference is we're not getting the benefit of sheer force with close combat um what else could we do we could take rock slide how do we handle rock types do we even worry about rock types or do we just give up on that front hmm this is another one of those conundrum things because like i really don't want to use hustle i want to benefit with this sheer force um let's instead just dip ditch the special idea i want to use special i really do but i don't think it's the right play here i think adamant nature allows us to hit ko more pokemon uh, mixed scarf yes that's because hurricane's still selected here so you turn close combat body slam acrobatics isn't bad but i think you take brave bird in this situation you leave scarf Sheer Force, because it does more body slam damage. That puts body slam at that 110 uh, mark, where close combat's 120, but you get stabbed. So body slam is doing almost as much damage as close combat, which is also doing a ton of damage 
Uh, less than Brave Bird, but still not bad in your turn to allow yourself to get out. Uh, we'll still stick with the bulkiness of our HP. Or no. Hmm. We could just bank it and go straight into speed to be able to outspeed things. What things are in the speed bracket here? At 219. I mean, NFE is like a really weird tier as it is. So NFE. Not fully evolved. Which Pokemon are in here? I mean, you get Pokemon like Corva Squire and you're really looking for hurt here. Uh, this allows us to handle rocks as well as the normal things that a flying type would be able to handle. I mean, overall, what's our base speed again? Our base speed is 60. I mean, we're outspeeding everything in the 60 speed bracket plus the choice scarf. So we should be able to keep on par with Pokemon of like base 90. So like Frogear, we probably shouldn't be in against anyways because I believe he learns Ice Beam. Um, what other Pokemon are we not looking for? I mean, Reboot's honestly not a huge huge threat we should be able to like one shot that thing with a um a brave bird assuming it doesn't have an eviolite and i would assume like life orb or scarf is also better on him uh in that case he's a base 94 he's already gonna outspeed us already as it is uh sneasel's obviously a threat uh if sneasel's running scarf which i'm assuming it is we're just not gonna be able to outspeed that so what is there is there anything honestly here that's like super super scary that we need to worry about our speed stat of being 60 i mean pikachu yeah that's you know what this is good enough this is good enough we'll take a jolly nature and that should allow us to do a lot here um let's go back to the calculator uh pokemon showdown calc and just out of curiosity we should be able to get a better idea for this rufflet let me go over to here let's do import export copy him paste him over here in wherever this thing goes there it is uh import export import this rufflet here and let's look at this rufflet compared to like a pikachu that's in this tier pikachu we're looking for you know a special wall breaker is not out of this question so we outspeed him even at max speed we would outspeed this pikachu because of scarf so like do we need a jolly nature no brave bird's already doing 81 percent. so if we take like adamant here that's still a two hit ko that's not high enough but body slam ko's cc ko's uh the only difference is we don't outspeed here so if we go back to jolly uh, we still 100% KO, actually 30% over 100% KO uh, Pikachu with this, and we will outspeed him for sure as well. Wait, where'd the, wait, hold on. What happened here? Speed. Am I lost? What happened? Oh, this, okay, this is the number we're looking for because that's going to be Scarf. So that 360 is better than 306. Let me relook at that one more time with the Adamant Nature. Uh, 328, yeah, so Adamant's still going to outspeed and it does more damage. So that's going to be the build right there with this rufflet with the adamant nature so that's how you're looking at this rufflet choice scarf sheer force uh u-turn close combat body slam adamant nature with attack speed last little bit in hp reason i like sheer force over hustle is you also get a you know it's a 20 percent damage down but you're also able to hit you know 20 percent more than the other one all in all i think it's pretty funny this is definitely going to catch some people off guard because that body slam is going to be hitting like a truck. Every single one of your moves minus U-turn is technically over a base 110 power. I mean, Brave Bird's already a base 120 plus your stab is, you know, a lot of damage. So let's look here. 120 plus stab, which is, you know, what, 50% I think is something like that. So it's like plus 60. It's like a base 180 uh, close combat's a base 120, body slam is 110, so body slam being your lowest hitting move, still not that bad, but yeah, no, I definitely like this rufflet, I think it's hilarious, and that's sure enough the one we're gonna use here for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, I will catch you guys in the next video, make sure you drop a comment down below on which Pokemon you would like to see next, as well as what kind of build you would like to see, and let me know if you guys have any other suggestions what you should do for this rufflet, you know, maybe we should run like a life orb and just go full all the way into it and just go with like, you know, life orb, hustle, or like banded life orb, something different than what the smog on build for Rufflet is, which I will, oh, whoa, hello, Pokemon showed her uh, smog on. Uh, let's go back to Rufflet just to remind you guys, this is the build that Rufflet has. 
it's very different than what we have on here but overall pretty much the same with the scarf and everything but we're running hustle or running sheer force instead because yes facade is a good move but it's a base 70 move and that's actually less damage your only real difference here with our build is you're a little bit more susceptible to being burned but you know who cares about that you got a choice scarf you're pretty much killing everything already and you can outspeed pikachus and other electric types just hopefully you don't get paralyzed uh, in which case then facade yes is definitely significantly better i don't like air lace here though u-turn choice scarf way better anyways guys i'll catch you guys in the next video